Once again, we've got some multiple steps that we can do to convert these units. I bet those answer choices are what you would get if you forgot one of the steps. So the wrong answer choices are what you would get if you forgot a step. So we're gonna completely prevent any sort of careless mistake by using the table method. So let's start with the units they give, give us, 4.76 miles per second. So that I'm just gonna write as written, 4.76 miles per one second, right? That's what that means. Per second, it's per one second. So make sure you are able to pull that one out of there and put it in because we want the balance in the table of two units, two numbers. What is the space station's average speed in miles per hour? So I know I want miles on this side. When they don't give us a number, that means that that's our X. So miles, so X miles per one hour. So notice that in order to use the table method, we end up kind of writing that one a little backwards where the miles is kind of the second thing but it's not really backwards. And, and this is where it gets confusing. If we were trying to use fractions, then this is really weird because we really want like miles per second to be kind of top and bottom. And there are ways to do that with miles per hour and keeping it in that same format, but that's where the errors tend to happen because I think when it's a fraction, we are much more likely to kind of force it in the way we wanna read it, when in fact, sometimes things get flipped. So the table left and right, I feel like we're a little bit more flexible, a little bit more open to the possibilities of multiplication and division. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry about it, just let's go down the line here. We got rid of miles, we got rid of miles. Let's get rid of hours. So one hour has 60 minutes. Gone, gone, one minute has 60 seconds. Gone, 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 done. Now we just go and we multiply, right? Multiply down the list, down the list. So 4.76 times 60 times 60 is 17136. One times X times one times one is X. So we're done, 17136. That's an answer, that's the answer. That's it. No doubt in my mind at all. It maybe took me a second to keep it organized, but I'd rather be organized and spend an extra 20 seconds on a question than risk getting it wrong when I know I can get it right. So do not rush through these questions. Do not try to do all the work in your calculator. If you got this wrong, I would bet it's because you tried to cut corners and take shortcuts and it came and bit you in the ass. Don't do it. These are easy points if you just follow the method and just stay organized.